Denim, and this is the Bad Denim Review where we order and try on jeans for you. Today we're going to have a look at the Levi's Ribcage jean. So the wash is called Feeling Cagey. What they've done, they've replicated that really nice worn black from a pair of 501s that maybe I used to sift through bales and bales of vintage for. There's been a lot of buzz around this one. I used to sell loads of the wedgie jean in the shop. It's a terrible name, but it really flattered everyone. The idea was that it made your behind look sort of lifted and perfect. But then they faced it out, maybe because of the name. I don't know. But honestly, it suited everyone. Buzz-wise, this feels like that jean part two. Okay, so I'm trying it on and it feels like a 501 with a slightly higher rise, which I love. It's hitting me about two inches above the belly button, quite high. With the wedgie jean, it was more of a carrot shape, so the leg came down and tapered. But this is nice and straight. It balances you more when you have that volume at the bottom. I went for a 27 inch length. They also do it in a 29 inch length. A good way to see which length suits you is to take a pair of jeans you already own, measure the inseam, and then cuff it. And then you can put it on and see exactly what a 27 inch or a 29 inch looks like on you. I see why they use the term vintage fit in the press briefs. It feels like a pair of 501s where they've maybe taken in the top block a little bit and made the fit sort of perfect for a woman's body. You can see the rise on the rib cage is much, much higher, a good two inches. Levi say this is the highest rise they've ever done, 12 and an eighth inch. Okay, let's look at the leg profile. On the rib cage, you can see this lovely, lovely straight leg. It's pretty much the same here on the 501. Same leg profile, tiny, tiny bit wider on the rib cage. It's a really, really similar jean to the 501 from the 90s, just with a higher rise. ELV Denim, Another Tomorrow, Redone, they've all made their name doing this, reworking vintage samples. Now there's a picture of Katherine Hepburn that I'm thinking of. She's wearing fur and flats, and this is exactly that jean. Really it is, I don't wanna take it off. It's got 1% of stretch in there, and it feels so much more comfortable to wear all through the day than a non-stretch jean. What would I wear it with? I might wear it with a black tee, some oversized knitwear, a shirt. I would wear them with a glove shoe, a stacked heel, sneakers, Mary Janes, all shoes basically. I'm just listing shoes. You could wear them with all shoes. This is what they mean when they say an everyday jean. What washes would I go for in this? I think the raw, the true black, and the mid blues are really nice. I would maybe stay away from the light blues. They can look a bit toothpasty. If you like jeans like I do, hit the like button. It's very satisfying. Am I going to keep these? I think you can tell the answer is yes. I've put a link if you want to try them for yourself below. We're releasing new videos every Friday, so let us know in the comments below if there's a jean that you'd like us to take a look at. If you love jeans like I do and want to hear about more delicious denim every week, subscribe.